Right, good morning people. Um, we're going to get back to looking at our case study for a major UK city. So going back to the work we've been doing on Liverpool and today we're going to have a look at how urban change has created the challenges in Liverpool or the problems. So a couple of weeks ago we had a look at the opportunities urban change has brought. So the good things that um, urban change in Liverpool has brought. And we looked at social opportunities, economic and environmental. So some of the social opportunities we mentioned was the Albert Dock had been restored, creating shops, bars, restaurants, museums, that type of thing. Um, the Echo Arena had been built, which attracts world famous uh, uh, acts and sporting events and the Liverpool One shopping complex. So those are all things that the people in Liverpool are benefiting from. So some social opportunities. Some of the economic opportunities, mainly uh, creation of new jobs. So employment in the bars, the cafes, the museums and Albert Dock. Um, the arena brings thousands of visitors each week. These visitors that come to watch uh, the acts or the sports, um, they'll spend money in bars, in restaurants, in cafes, which has a knock-on effect on the economy. And also, Liverpool 2, which is a big container port, opened in 2016, and that allows much bigger cargo ships to dock in Liverpool. And that's secured and it's created hundreds and hundreds of jobs. And lastly, environmental opportunities. So how the environment's benefiting from urban change. And this mainly centres on the amount of green space, so parks basically. So city planners have actively tried to increase the amount of green space. Um, in Liverpool one, the shopping centre, um, there's a five acre park in the middle that um, is used for recreation, but also increases the amount of green space. They've tried to increase more uh, cycle paths. There's been more bus lanes being created, making travel cleaner and greener. And also the use of coloured bins for recycling. So getting rid of the waste without doing too much damage to the environment. So those were the opportunities that we've talked about. However, urban change has also created challenges. So it's created some problems within Liverpool. And we'll have a look now at some of these. Again, we'll look at social, economic and environmental. So economic challenges, uh, the industrial change, so the decline of the docks uh, in the 20th century, still affects inner city Liverpool. So lots and lots of areas have higher than average unemployment levels. So if people don't have jobs, they don't have a steady wage, they don't have money coming in. Roughly 10% of adults in Toxteth and An Anfield are unemployed. So Toxteth and Anfield are two areas within Liverpool that are uh, quite deprived and around about 10% of the adults that live there don't have a job. Small businesses in parts of the city that people have left have been forced to close down because there's no custom. If you're, uh, if the area where you have, say, a corner shop, um, if most people have left, then there's nobody there to visit your shop and buy the stuff, in which case your business would then start to suffer. Unfortunately, as well, in the areas that have been redeveloped, the cost of living, the, uh, the cost of the houses has increased so much that local people can't afford to live in those redeveloped areas. So these are some of the economic challenges. So this uh, just relates to the idea of 10% of adults in Toxteth and Anfield being unemployed. So no job. Right, some social challenges. Large areas of poverty still remain um, to this day. For example, Anfield and Toxteth, they're still among some of the most deprived areas in the country. People in these areas have poor access to decent education and healthcare, and the crime rate is very, very high in these areas. Life expectancy, how long people can be expected to live for, in Toxteth is 10 years less than some of the wealthier parts of Liverpool. So if you're born or raised or live in Toxteth, then you could be expected to live 10 years less than somebody who was born or lived two, two and a half miles away in another area of the city and redevelopment and regeneration of some parts of Liverpool has led to further inequalities. So the people in the new, the redeveloped, the wealthier areas have better access to housing, to healthcare, to education and to employment. So the life, the quality of life is much better in those new areas. 
So you can see looking here, a lot of derelict buildings, um, looks quite uh, deprived, not the type of place that you'd really uh, want to live in when you're seeing some of the other areas of Liverpool that have been redeveloped. And finally, the environmental challenges. So how has urban change affected the environment? So areas where people have left, there's lots of derelict buildings, as we saw on that last slide. Derelict, build, derelict buildings are just empty buildings, and these have been targeted by vandals and graffiti artists. As the population has grown, there's more pressure put on waste management. So if there's more people, they're producing more rubbish, so there's more pressure put on the waste management and recycling schemes. A new one is being built in the old Swan area of Liverpool, but it's very, very expensive. And lastly, because the city is growing in terms of population, it's expanding, it's getting bigger, which means it's growing into the suburbs and the countryside. So as the city expands, it moves into new areas and that destroys wildlife habitats, but also increases the journey times into the city centre, which increases the amount of air pollution. Okay, so those are some of the challenges that we've looked at environmental, social and economic. Okay. And on this uh, final slide here, you can just see a comparison between some of the areas. So these are um, some of the poorer areas of Liverpool, so like Toxteth, like Anfield, where you can see a lot of derelict buildings um, with nobody living in them. There's a lot of vandalism that you can see on that picture. And then some of the newer areas where the city is expanding into. So again, now if you look on the right hand side, you can see the houses have a lot more space. They've all got gardens. There's lots and lots of green open spaces, which would be a much more pleasant place to live. Obviously, the air quality is going to be better. You've got places for recreation and things like that. However, some of the environmental impacts of this are loss of uh, habitats, wildlife habitats, um, and increased travel time into the city centre.